So for the next part of our Onyx Off-Road how-to series, we are going to remove this bumper off of this 2002 Ford E450. So first things first, you got to pull this lower cover. Don't worry, I saved you the trouble. Already did it. Now I'm going to grab some tools and we're going to unbolt the bumper. Alright, so the next step in removing the bumper is to remove the bumper. There was a pry bar stuck between the AC condenser and the radiator support, and we got it out. So make sure when removing anything, you find your tools and you put your tools away. You don't leave them in the engine compartment. So the next step in installing our Barnes four-wheel drive front bumper is to remove the front bumper from the box. Go. We're moving forward on converting the 2017 Barnes four-wheel drive front bumper to fit onto a 2002 Ford E-Series van. Now, this E-Series van is going to be a four-wheel drive, so it's going to become an F-Series van eventually. So we're using an F-Series front bumper, but there is some heavy modifications that we have to do. I actually had to cut the end of the frame off. I've got these brackets that I'm welding to the bottom side. I'm cutting some things. I'm going to make some plates. I'm going to gusset it. And it's gonna work. And it actually looks pretty dang good. So these E-Series bumpers, they usually just have a flat, almost like a C-channel look to them in the aftermarket world. And we wanted something that looked more aggressive, that really has some cool lines on it. And that's exactly what this Barnes four-wheel drive front bumper is. It's got a winch mount. We're gonna be showing you guys how to put the winch plate on. And in another how-to video, we're gonna be showing you how to install the winch from Warren Industries. So, got a lot to do, but you know what? It's gonna look good. So I'm taking my CAD drawing. I'm putting it into my CAD program, and I'm going to cut out some fish plates to reinforce that front bracket on our bus. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to box in my bracket to the frame rail. So I've made a little plate on the CNC plasma table. I've got it to where I can weld it in. <clears throat> now what we're going to do for the video and time's sake is I'm going to be putting this bracket in, putting a gusset, putting this bracket in, and then we're going to move on to installing the bumper. Now at a later time, I'm going to actually make a fish plate that goes on the outside of the frame because this is going to be my pulling point with the winch. If this thing ever gets stuck and you want to winch out, you've got to have a solid mounting location for your winch to pull from. So we're going to be fish plating about eight and a half inches on the outside of the frame rail, tying it all into the winch plate so that when you pull, this thing is stout. But anyway, we're going to get this all welded in and move on to bolting the bumper up. Next step is putting the winch plate on. So we've had to make a little bit of modifications like we showed you guys to make this work, but it's gonna work well. So we'll get this bolted up, and then we'll show you how to mount the bumper. From this point on, it's pretty simple. It's not very technical. Basically, all you gotta do is put the bolts in, tighten them up, and we'll adjust it and make it work. So we had to make some modifications to make sure that the bolts fit around the frame rail to where we can bolt this winch plate on. This is a semi-technical way to go about this. It's not a direct bolt-on. You know, a direct bolt-on bumper is gonna be much simpler, but in our situation, this bumper is gonna look awesome on this bus, and we wanted to go with the cool, more aggressive look to this front end than just a simple I-beam style bumper. All right, so basically what we have done is we have now created an I-beam. We've tied both frame rails together so that when you're winching, you're actually winching with both front frame rails. And in another video on our channel, Robbie Layton Nation, you can watch us fish plate this. So we're gonna be adding a plate all the way on the outside. That's gonna tie the bumper into the frame, into the winch plate, making sure that when, if you get into trouble and you need a winch out or you need to be pulled out, you're not gonna rip the front of this frame off. So next step, now that we've got the winch plate on, we're gonna get this bumper put up on here. It's four nuts and washers per side, and this thing will be tightened up and 
all the way done. So on these Barnes four-wheel drive bumpers, this has an unboltable wing. So we just want to tighten up these bolts before we put it up on there so that we're not fighting it once we get it on the vehicle. We're down to our last and final piece of this puzzle. All we got to do now, put this on, tighten up eight, tighten up eight nuts, adjust it, and our Barnes four wheel drive bumper install will be finished. Right there. Got it? You got yours? Yep. So that's it for installing the front bumper. Thank you Barnes 4-Wheel Drive for sending this and thank you Onyx Off-Road for bringing you guys this how-to series. Let's go check on the axle and see if they've got it done.